everybody get your fucking hands up Focus on the long term and always do what's right to grow the company and not make short-term decisions and outlast everyone one. When you look at Google, its job is to find you the perfect web page. There are a lot of cases when you want to know something and a list of websites isn't ideal. Wikipedia is kind of extreme, where a very, very small group of people contribute pretty, oh, everything. The more questions and answers we get, the more useful Quora is. Our goal is to build this up as a knowledge base that anyone can look at, we're not just interested in people answering their friends, one-off questions. I really like knowledge and reading books and just generally immersing myself in information. Lawyers and other professionals are using Quora to build their reputation and build their bona fides. You have to get comfortable giving up control and you find people who do things better than you do. Quora now does better with the team we have built. I think a lot of what the iPad app is going to be used for is just reading the best content on Quora. It really helps the whole system run because people who are writing answers can get this very wide distribution to a large audience of readers. Questions and answers is a big space and there are lots of possible systems that you can create for different goals. When companies get big, they slow down. They're not as exciting. If you want to get something done, it takes a lot of time and a lot of meetings. I've really enjoyed starting Quora from the beginning. It's really nice to have a new start to things. The internet was supposed to allow anyone to set up a web page and share their knowledge with the world. But in practice, it's too difficult and takes too long. And almost no one does it. When you look at Yahoo! Answers, there can be a lot of garbage. But if you're careful about the rules and support and good contributions, over time, you can get better and better, like Wikipedia. In the past, there hasn't been much reliable information about startups and small businesses available online, it information that's really valuable, and it's information that people want to share. We started off by inviting our friends to use Quora and then they invited their friends and 
it just grew from there. You can go to Pinterest, and they'll get to know who your friends are, but they don't get to know very much about what you've done in the past. They're starting with little information about you, and they have to do this personalization. A lot of people really like to answer questions and really enjoy sharing knowledge, especially people who have valuable knowledge. In 2007, I was at Facebook, and we looked at some of the social networks in Asia, and they were full of games. On Quora, you're not answering questions because you want to get points or because you have nothing else to do. Anything you want to know, you go to Quora and get it, and at the same time, give people a platform that is easy to use for sharing the knowledge. I think as more people use the phones to access the internet, they have a lot less patience for trying to find things on the search engines. That is because you need to figure a lot of things out for search to work. We want Quora to last forever. And in order to last forever, it's going to need to have revenue. One of the best things about ads is that you don't need to include anyone. I have a view that if you build something that's good and you keep making it better, it lasts. More than a billion people use the internet, yet only a tiny fraction contribute their knowledge to it. We need to build systems that can automatically figure out what's high quality and what's not, and encourage users to contribute high quality content. There's a lot of technical challenges in that. Blogs are easy to start, but unless the author is famous, it takes years to build a following. The area we define is what Quora is good at is long form, text that's useful over time, and where you care about who wrote the text. Not that you need to be friends with them, just that they're someone trustworthy. We're more interested in someone writing a really great answer that's going to be read by thousands or tens of thousands of people over the next few years as it stays on Quora and as it gets distributed on the internet.